All right, we're on day three finally. I ended up taking the cam gear and seal. Uh, now the seal wasn't too bad, but I have it in the parts kit, so I might as well change it. And from what I can tell, it's pretty, pretty dry. So this is the old one. There's a new one going in, so we'll be doing that. Here in a little bit, uh, obviously the gear was dirty, so I had to clean it. Cleaned up the area around the seal, and then we'll be working on the timing hopefully soon. Okay, so the pulley's on, and the timing set. When I took it off, it was at five degrees, top dead center. I don't know if you can tell the tiny marks, but it's right there. So, got that down, and then on the top, I took off this cover because it was easier for me this way, but it's easier to tough on the bottom. From the back, so can't really reach in there, but there's that timing mark and there's the hole right there. So, there, those are aligned, and I found that the easiest way to do this is when you. Put in the belt, start from the top. You can push that pulley down. And once it's almost down, it'll slide in through the back over here. So that's the best way I could find it. Well, the easiest way, at least for me. So it's pretty, it's a pretty tight fit. So I'm gonna adjust that alternator belt, which is right here. And we should, after putting some oil in, it should be able to start up. So I'm just going to add the oil real quick. I'm not sure how many, how much oil it takes. I don't remember really, but I know it's not the whole five quarts. So, all right. So the belt's tightened. All is back on. I had to double check the drain plug because I don't remember if I had put it up or not. But here goes nothing. After giving it a quick wash down, they're running good. Zero leaks. 
Top or bottom. 